Nama saya Markus Eko, saya wartawan dari Timor Leste. Saya bekerja di radio dan televisi Timor Leste. Saya secara pribadi merasa sangat senang karena tahun ini bisa mendapat undangan dari Kemenlu melalui KBRI di Dili untuk bisa berpartisipasi dan bisa menjadi satu peserta dari Timur Leste dalam program uh, Journalist Friend of Indonesia. Sebagai wartawan Timur Leste, bisa uh, mendapat kesempatan untuk bisa berkomunikasi dengan teman-teman dari negara-negara uh, anggota ASEAN tentang kinerja wartawan itu sendiri dan juga tentang situasi dan kondisi real di negara masing-masing. Okay. Hi, my name is Leong Waikit and I work with CNA. Um, I cover Myanmar as well as ASEAN news for the TV channel. Uh, I'm extremely happy to be part of this program because uh, these, the, this program meets two of my important needs. One, it is to cultivate contacts and sources. As correspondents, we always need to find stakeholders, we always need to build ties with them and meeting them in person sharing laughter, sharing stories, having a meal together. It helps us cement trust between journalists and stakeholders. Two, as correspondents, it's very important for us to always understand the context and issues. It's not enough to just read off books or the internet. What's important here for me is that being here in, in Indonesia, in Jakarta, opens up my world. It brings what I, what I would have read from the internet, from academic books, to life because I'm here in person. So it adds to the depth of the contextual knowledge that I wish to have as a correspondent. Hello, good morning. I'm Lynette Luna. I'm from the Manila Times uh, in the Philippines. I'm co-managing editor of uh, the newspaper. And um, what do I think of uh, Friends of Indonesia? Well, when the, when the program was first uh, given to me, I wondered what it was all about. Hi everyone, my name is Vien, a journalist from Vien Spread newspaper based in Hanoi, Vietnam. This is the first time I come to Indonesia. Before coming to Indonesia, uh, all I know about Indonesia is a Muslim earthquake, tsunami, and uh, now I they understand more and more about this country. Um, thank the program Journalist Brand of Indonesia because give me a chance to um, discover, to understand about this country and people. Uh, Indonesia is a beautiful country and people is very kind and lovely. Plus what I enjoyed the most was um, mixing two religions, two big religions together, um, which unfortunately some countries can't seem to, to do. But here in Indonesia I've seen that, um, both Islam and Catholicism getting together under one compound and connected by a long tunnel and sharing ideas, sharing the faith even. And, and that to me, being a Catholic myself, that to me meant a lot. And also the educational institutions, the openness to learning and the openness to ideas from other countries with their exchange programs. Um, and also Indonesia opening its doors to empowering women. Uh, with, uh, with their education and yeah, it, it's a sure sign that Indonesia is on its way to um, something better and elevating itself to a country that's worth emulating and uh, being an example to the Muslim world. Good 
Hi, my name is S. Vinoda. I am from Malaysia and I write for an online news portal called Malaysia Kini for the English desk. Um, I'm here on the invitation of uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, from Indonesia um, and uh, the country has actually invited journalists from seven countries on a program called Friend, uh, Journalists, Friends of Indonesia um, with the aim of uh, in reintroducing Malaysia to its neighbours on its cultural diversity in, uh, and inclusivity in governance and it religious affairs. So through the media, the Indonesia is trying to bridge the gap of understanding uh, the culture of Indonesia and um, this the fact that this six-day ex excursion has come uh, just three months before Indonesia becomes the leader of the ASEAN goes to show uh, how it is uh, serious about bridging the cultural divide and the understanding or uh, in the region itself and bringing peace and inclusivity within the region, starting now itself. In Yogyakarta, for example, we were given audience to very, two very important people. Um, who uh, One of them was the Sri Sultan Hameng Kubowono X, who is also the governor of Yogyakarta and uh, the chairman of the uh, Executive Council of Muhammadiyah um, Professor Heder Nasher. So through the two of them we got an insight into the inclusivity of governance and religious practices in the country. Along the streets of Yogyakarta we found um, that no matter what the, the inclusivity, the, the, cultural, the culture of inclusivity is right down in the streets itself. When you go to Yogyakarta, you will see along the streets of the, uh, the capital um, at night, when you walk along the streets, you find that um, the uh, people, no matter what, they enjoy the total uh, social strata, but no matter what, they still come back and um, they can all, when they sit down for Nankriang, they, they, everyone is the same. And it's so easy to just shed the social strata. It's not something that the people actually cling on to. And um, this is something that I think it was important for them to actually portray to the media that we can take back to our countries and talk about how this is the kind of inclusivity that all the countries in the region need to start practicing. Dan yang lainnya kita juga mendapat uh, pengalaman baru di Jogja di mana uh, sangat merupakan uh, momen yang sangat berharga karena bisa mendengar uh, mendapat informasi dari Muhammadiyah dari uh, gubernador sekaligus sebagai sultan. Jadi kita bisa mendapat pengalaman-pengalaman baru uh, di tiga tempat yang berbeda di Jakarta, Jogja dan di Bali. Good afternoon, my name is Suksa Mai Bulom. I'm a business reporter from Vientiane Times newspaper of Laos. Uh, it's my pleasure to join this program because it's around me to explore Jakarta, Bali and Jogja. Uh, during this program, I have a lot of fun. I have a lot of new friends and I explore many things. I learn many things from Indonesia. Of all, I prefer Jogja because uh, as in Jogja, it is the second time for me. Uh, last time I went in uh, 2017. Now when I come back, everything has changed and developed, but culture is still preserved and people is still really nice. I love the most. Um, I'm a, I love history and um, I appreciate the the flavor of Yogyakarta. It's a very quaint province and like I said it's a fusion of culture, it's a fusion of um, modernization. Culture because you have a lot of old temples, how you've managed to preserve them really amazes me. As a country of moderation, a country of tolerance, a fusion of culture and modernity. 
and that to me is one of the things I think I enjoyed much about the program. It also showed me a side of Indonesia that you know I never got to read in the news, I never got to see on TV and it's really a land of very warm people. In fact, uh, personally, on a personal experience, I can relate to it because um, I myself come from a land of very warm people and from the airport all the way out of, of the airport, I've met a lot of Indonesians who have been very gracious, very welcoming. A lot of history, a lot of into the program. Uh, because like I said, people think that Indonesia is just about Bali. But it's more than Bali, it's more than that. So I'm hoping that in the future it, there can be other places like Yogyakarta um, where people can go to and people can enjoy and people can appreciate what Indonesia is all about. Hello, my name is Chung. I'm from Vietnam. Uh, if you ask me to describe about Indonesia in one word, I just think about harmony. Uh, I feel harmony here in Indonesia. Uh, I can see harmony in your religion. Uh, I see harmony in your food. Uh, and harmony is connecting us, uh, friends of Indonesia. And therefore, I wish that such programs will be extended to uh, more journalists in future because it will definitely benefit uh, many journalists at the same time also to the stakeholders whom we are working with. I am glad I did accept the invitation and went on the trip. Uh, I found out that there's more to being simply friends of Indonesia. Now I not only have friends from Indonesia but I have I've met colleagues who share the same aspirations, share the same experiences and having both enjoyed Indonesia, the country, and um, I do hope that this is going to be a regular event for the country because it does help bring journalists together with a common goal. Obrigado Barak ba governo Indonesia na be fono oportunidade bahau nudar jornalista husi na saun Timor Leste ko di participa iha programa jornalista amizade entre na saun ASEAN. Obrigado, Barak. Thank you, Indonesia. Maraming maraming salamat po. Mahal na mahal ko kayo. Mabuhay. Indonesia. Jesus miyaji temare Indonesia. I hope to see you. Indonesia again, again, again the next year. Indonesia ma. Nauta, nauta, nauta. Sonya mare. Bye bye. Thank you Indonesia for your hospitality. Cảm ơn Indonesia. Goodbye and see you again. Tạm biệt.